Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Viennese. Thank you for being here today, tonight, whatever time you're watching this video. I am so excited because we're going to be talking about two of my favorite bronzers in this video. So if this is something that you're interested in, you're going to want to stay here. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're going to be talking about Juvia's Place Bronzed Duo, and these are what they look like. They come in a variety of colors, but for brown skin, I highly recommend these two colors. And I was thinking I really want to do this video because when I bought my bronzer, I was kind of guessing. You guys know how it is when you go out there, you don't necessarily know what color bronzer is going to fit you well. I have so many times bought bronzer that I thought was going to work and it was too dark or it was just the same as my skin complexion. And I was like, ugh. So hopefully this video helps you. If you have not heard about these, you probably have because everybody's using them. But um, hopefully this will help you pick which one to get. I have both of them and I feel like I can use them in all aspects, but hopefully this is going to help you. Yes, I have on makeup right now, but I'm going to wipe this side of my face off and we're going to see the color, the real color. So I'm just going to apply it right to my skin. So if you are lighter than me or if you are darker than me, than me, you can kind of compare and see which one you want to go for. So when I got my Juvia's Place Bronze Duo, I first bought this one right here. And this one is the Deep Dark. I was so excited when I saw these bronzers because sometimes it's not easy to find these colors in the drugstore. So they are very pigmented. So first, I'm going to wipe off this makeup. I use this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I highly recommend this. If you guys are looking for a good makeup remover, this stuff is awesome. It also comes in a bottle with a pink top and a bottle with a blue top, but I recommend this one. I haven't tried the um, pink top, but I have tried the blue. And it's an all-in-one brightening, removes makeup, cleanses, and a glow. No rinse, no harsh rubbing, face, lips, eyes for dull skin and even sensitive skin. It has vitamin C in it. And this is amazing. After just using this alone, I saw a difference in my skin. Like you could tell that the toner really worked. You could tell that I did have this glow. I love it. Like you guys have to get this. I tested this on my app that tests for ingredients and... It rated pretty good, so highly recommend. Okay, let's get back into the video. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to take my cotton rounds, and I'm going to wipe off just one side of my makeup so you guys can see. This is the makeup I've had on today. So I really, I'm just going to wipe off like where I would place the bronzer. So you guys can see, like I said, on actual skin, and it's not on top of any makeup, how this is going to look for you. Try that off a little bit. Okay, so first, while this is drying, because it's still a little bit wet, I'm going to swatch this on my finger. For the top, there's no names for these, I don't believe, but like I said, this is the deep dark. This top one, I'm gonna swatch that for you guys. I love this color. It has a little bit of like a red tint to it. I am drawn to red. Is that, let me make sure I can see that well. I'm drawn to this color because I have red in my skin. So any products that lean towards red, they get me. So. This is a very, very beautiful bronze color. And this is the one I was using mainly before I discovered the other one, which we'll get into. I'm gonna swatch this darker color right here. This is like a deep, a deep chocolate. It's, they're both so pretty. Just depends on what color you need. And that is what, y'all. Yeah. Can y'all see that? Let's do this again. It's this color right here. And that is such a pretty deep color too. I love this one. Now I didn't use that color too much because I didn't want 
my bronzer to look too harsh and that color is a tad bit dark for my complexion but I would sometimes if I was like wanting a dramatic look I would take a little bit and place it on top but um yeah let's get into it all right so my face is dried we're going to go in and actually show you how it looks I'm using this top color here and actually guys I just thought about something I need to get four different brushes because I don't want to mix this up I'll be right back all right guys, I'm back. I got my brushes here and now I can accurately show you the colors because I do not want to mix these up. But I do want to recommend this brush to you. This is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation brush right here. This is the brush I use to apply my bronzer every single time. It is so, so good. I'm going to use some other brushes in here, just the ones that I have clean. Um, but this is the one that I normally use to apply my bronzer. So I'm going to go into this color here in the deep dark. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheek. Okay, so this is what this color is looking like. I love this color. This was the one I used constantly before finding the lighter tone bronzer and I probably should have did this first you know go from light to dark but you know what it doesn't matter this is what that's looking like isn't that pretty you guys it's just like a subtle bronze all right so we're gonna wipe that off and we're gonna try the deep color I'm actually going to do this because I'm gonna take a dry one and just dry it off so we don't have to wait See, I'm coming up with stuff as we go. All right, so we're gonna go in, get me another brush here, to this deep color right here. And I'm going to apply it to my face. Now I'm really trying to pack it in here so you guys can really see this color. I want it to show. Okay, and as you guys can see here, see how deep this is. And I use that one sometimes when I want it to, like I said, have a more dramatic bronze look. And yeah, that's that one. So this is all depending on your skin color, but I guarantee one of these is going to work for you. These are so buildable, but like I said, they're very pigmented. So you don't, you don't need a whole lot, but yes, they're very, very buildable. We have removed all of that. And we're going to go in with my new favorite for my complexion. And this is the dark. That was the deep dark. This is the dark. It's a lighter box. When you open it up, as you can see here, the tones are a little bit lighter. So let's take a brush. Well, actually, let me swatch it for you. This is the top one right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe I should just, let me do it this way. This one almost on my wrist here looks like it's a little orange, brown, and red like that, but it's so pretty. Oh, I love these color bronzers. I love these. And then let's swatch. Let me wipe my finger off. And let's try this deeper color here. Ooh, that's pretty. Juvia's Place. They did their thing with these colors. That right there. So it's just a tad bit darker than this one. But these two work perfectly. So if you're close to my complexion, get the dark. And then if you want to try the other one, why not try it? It might look perfect on you because everybody has different undertones, preferences, 
So you do what works for you, but I'm gonna go in with my new brush. I'm gonna tap into this color here, and this is the one I use all the time now. My whole two days of having it, but every time I've done my makeup, I've went in with this one because this one is such a natural bronze. You put this on and it's so close to my skin color. I love that. So on days where I just want to look just a little bit bronzed, but not like I have too much on, just like an everyday bronze is perfect. Look, look at that. See how it's just a tad bit deeper than my complexion. My favorite. That one's my favorite, guys. That one's my favorite. Let's wipe that off, and then we'll go into the final color. All right, guys, so we have the makeup off. We're gonna go into the last color. We're gonna go in with this color here. This is the deep color in the dark set. We're just gonna apply that. I have two mirrors here, guys, so I've been going back and forth. Now this one pulls even more red. Oh, but it's so pretty. Look at that, y'all. Yesterday, I used this set and I did my whole face with it. I used it as eyeshadow because that's one thing you can do with bronzer, especially these. And I used it as eyeshadow, bronzer, and it was just like, it pulled everything together and made everything look so pretty, so sun-kissed. Like you have this natural tan. Oh, it's so pretty. But this one's this one looks really good too. Like I said, this one is my favorite set right now. I will definitely be repurchasing this one. See how pretty that is? Such a pretty bronze. So I hope this helps you determine which one you want to buy just in case you're like me and you're in the store and you try to like pull up a video that says, you know, it describes how the products are before you buy it. Hopefully this will help you. Um, yeah, so let me show you one more time. The color differences, deep dark, and dark and these are the differences right here all right beautiful people i hope that helped you out thank you so much for being here don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be here for all of the videos i am just so excited for the summer there's gonna be so many videos coming out because i'm just so inspired makeup makes me so happy being with you guys makes me happy jesus makes me happy and yeah we're just happy over here comment down below which palette you think you're going to be purchasing and if you made it this far in the video drop down a brown heart i love you jesus loves you and i'll see you on the next video Bye.